Picture this. You're on Reddit, and you see a thread asking about the history of Mount Rushmore. You click into the comments section, reasonably confident in your guess that we made it sometime in the early 1900s. You're expecting to see someone post the exact year, but what you find is a whole thread full of people agreeing that it's a naturally occurring landmark, and it's quite frankly ridiculous to discuss otherwise. You see hundreds of posts, all in agreement that, yep, it occurred naturally. Uh, nature can be complicated. So, you chime in, saying, huh, that's weird. I remember learning that it was man-made. Even if there was a mountain with faces on it, how the heck would they look exactly like four notable U.S. presidents? Isn't that really unlikely? You know, the, all four? You're immediately swamped with downvotes and swarmed with replies calling you an idiot and telling you to trust the geologists. Within a minute, you get a multi-paragraph, point-by-point teardown of your comment, with sources cited, referencing the naturally occurring rock face in New Hampshire, asking, you know, how the hell we would even go about accomplishing something like that pointing out the enormous amount of money it would cost to do something so pointless, and saying that you're being bigoted towards the Lakota people by calling a natural landmark of their holy ground man-made. You know, when you think about it, uh, Mount Rushmore is kind of like if we carved statues of like the four most successful single-use plastics into the Great Barrier Reef. Then, your comment gets deleted by the mods, leaving only the replies talking about how much of an idiot you are. Now, for a lot of people, the response to something like that is to feel kind of embarrassed and think to yourself like, Damn, I guess I don't know shit about Mount Rushmore. However, if, like me, you have the Asperger's Syndrome PSYOP debuff trait, you're probably more likely to be wondering why the hell ChatGPT is trying to tell you that bats can melt nails out of wooden fence posts. Now, let's wind the clock back to 2014. Don't worry, this is all leading somewhere. In 2014, Reddit's year-end blog post had to be taken down and edited after it turns out they didn't exactly vet the analytics data for accidentally including the truth. Now, this post has long since been deleted, presumably for totally legitimate and completely unrelated reasons, but thankfully we can find the original version on the Internet Archive. Well, until that gets shut down too, at least. Most Reddit-addicted city with over 100,000 visitors. Huh, Eglin Air Force Base. Well, I mean, that makes sense. It's an Air Force Base. I'm sure they're, you know, all on Reddit a lot. I'm adding this line because of the people who were treating this like a gotcha last time I tried to post a video on this topic. Anyway, hang on a second. How many people are there at Eklund? 2,448? And wait a second. Uh, most Reddit addicted city with more than how many visitors? 100,000? Hmm, that's at least... 97,000... TOO MANY VISITORS! So, what kind of stuff goes on at Eglin? Uh, let's take a look at some of the organizations there. Eglin is home to the 688th Cyberspace Wing, the 690th Cyberspace Operations Group, and the 692nd Cyberspace Operations Squadron. Uh, then, as part of the Air Force Test Center, uh, 96th Test Wing, there is the 96th Cyberspace Test Group, including the 47th and 48th Cyberspace Test Squadrons. It's also home to the Air Force Research Laboratory. I'm going to read from Wikipedia here. Uh, the Air Force Research Laboratory is a scientific research and development detachment of the United States Air Force Material Command, uh, dedicated to leading the discovery, development, and integration of direct energy weapons. Oh, uh, well, that explains the nails. Wait a second. Uh, the Air Force Research Laboratory. That sounds familiar. Where have I heard that name before? Oh, that's right. From this paper. Containment Control for a Social Network with State-Dependent Connectivity. That state is in solid state, not as in police state. So let's take a look at the abstract. Social interactions influence our thoughts, opinions, and actions. In this paper, social interactions are studied within a group of individuals composed of influential social leaders and followers. Each person is assumed to maintain a social state, which can be an emotional state or an opinion. Followers update their social states based on states of lo uh, local neighbors, while social leaders maintain a constant state. Oh, good lord, shut up with the nerd shit. This is a paper studying the effectiveness of artificially encouraging political or social positions via social media, aka astroturfing. See, this is something called manufactured consensus. See, if you don't know what manufactured consensus is, imagine you've just met a cool new group of friends. Uh, you know, they're cool, they're successful, they seem to like you, you're really feeling hopeful about getting to know them better, all that sort of stuff. However, one day, you're hanging out with them and someone says, Man, I thought I had to piss, but I can't. And so you go like, wait, were you trying to piss yourself? And your new friend goes, yeah, obviously, what do you mean? Do you piss in the toilet or something? That's for shit, bro. And everyone else joins in, like, you know, yeah, pissing in the toilet's so fucking lame, dude. It's so much faster to just piss yourself if you're not a bitch about it. And so you're like, oh, no, yeah, I mean, yeah, pissing yourself is the way to go. Uh, yeah. 
manufactured consensus. You get something ridiculous beaten into you through quorum, repetition, and implied or explicit threat of social exclusion. And you know what happens when you piss yourself? Ah, he fucking did it! We got that idiot to piss himself! Ah, gotcha! So let's take a look at some of the stuff that's in this paper. Technological advances in social media provide more rapid, convenient, and widespread communication among individuals, which leads to a more dynamic and interaction and influence. For example, recent riots and ultimately revolution have been facilitated through social media technologies such as Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and BlackBerry messaging. The company Razorfish, for example, works with online peer influencers to transform them into brand advocates through the execution of Social Influence Marketing, or SIM, strategy, which aims to influence marketing primarily through online, small groups, peer pressure, reciprocity, or flattery. This paper examines how such methods can be leveraged to manipulate a social network. This work specifically aims to investigate how peer pressure from social leaders affects consensus beliefs, e.g. opinions, emotional states, purchasing decisions, political affiliation, etc. This work aims to investigate how the social beliefs, e.g. emotional response, opinions, etc., of a group of individuals evolve under the influence of social leaders. The goal in this work is to develop a decentralized influence algorithm where individuals within a social group update their beliefs by considering beliefs from social peers and the social group achieves a desired common belief. So how does this all fit together? Why is Eglin Air Force Base the most read city? Why does Reddit report a number of users that would require every single airman stationed there to have 40 phones each? How is it possible to fill up comment sections with hundreds of seemingly real people in lockstep agreement in defense of stuff that's obviously not true? How can you get a multi-paragraph argument with citations as a reply in under a minute? And where did the data in that paper actually come from? Well, uh, there's w only one... Well, there's only really one thing that seems to satisfactorily explain all of the above. Let's see if ChatGPT was trained on Reddit user data. Write an AITA post about accidentally letting your neighbor's kid run away. Am I the asshole for accidentally letting my neighbor's kid run away? Hey Reddit, today I was watching my neighbor's child and amidst a momentary distraction, the little one managed to slip away and run the neighborhood. Now the parents are upset and I'm wondering if I'm in the wrong. AITA. Now, does this indisputably prove that ChatGPT, etc. are being used to make Reddit posts to manipulate sentiment? No. It just proves that it was chained on Reddit posts. But there's always a higher standard of proof you can demand of information that's inconvenient to acknowledge. But at the same time, like, man, come on. Look at, look, look with your eyes. Use your noggin for five seconds. So, uh, moral of the story, uh, don't believe what you read on the internet just because a whole lot of strangers are telling you that you aren't allowed not to. Like and subscribe.